Hey everybody, Garrett Dewin here from Slammer South. Uh, we did record our podcast today, Slamcast episode four, uh, in which uh, owner and president Mark Holzmer joined us. Um, but as we get into this uh, pitching video, uh, remember, I'm always an advocate. If you can throw, go do it, go throw. Uh, but if you can't, here's some other supplemental things that you can work on to stay ahead of the game. John Cronickin, take it away. So get in front of a mirror in front of your house or in, at your house and you can work on balancing and breaking on time so you can see when that happens. The hand's going to separate as the leg starts down. Remember, as we drive that knee up, we want to drive that knee up as fast and as high as we can drive that knee to make sure that we're staying balanced while we're creating speed. The next step is really concentrate after you've worked on the balance part, the direction. Make sure that front leg is driving straight to the plate. You're going to take your back leg and you're going to drive that back, their back leg knee into that front leg as you go forward, trying to get that back shin parallel to the ground if you can, trying to create force as you're going forward. Really create length, balance direction length. And then we've talked about it before, the angle will help come from the uh, stiff front knee as you land, making sure that front knee is, is blocking as we land. <laughs> For the pitching part, We've worked hard on the balance, direction, length, and angle. Now, obviously, if you're at home, you may not have somebody to catch a bullpen. Uh, a little brother, a little sister may not be able to handle your pitching. But what you can do is get a dish towel, like my man has here, and you're going to just go through the very slow motion, balance, break, down, push that hip, and glide as far as you can. And then you can go through the motion of pitching. Do four or five of those slow motion like that, and then build into a more full speed, full motion type pitching. As you are throwing or mimicking the throwing motion, concentrate on a stiff front leg as you land. You have to block that front leg to throw the baseball downhill. Uh, concentrate on getting your chest over your front knee. Make sure you're staying on that back leg as long as you can as you throw. Keeping your head still, Concentrate. You can do a thousand reps of these every day and completely be off because you're not concentrating on the little things. Or you can do 10 reps of these a day and really be working on things because you're doing them slowly and correctly and making them matter. One thing that I would love to see you guys work on so you've got it down when we get back to, to practice here pretty soon is our, our five picks uh, at second base. So remember, for our pitchers, do the five pick, okay? So that's our five pick to first base, or to second base. It's, it's, again, it's a spin move. Now, Gary, if we get a runner at second base that's starting to get too big a lead, we're going to use the inside move. So they come set. They're going to turn inside and throw the ball to second base. Picks to first base. We've got, they come set. They're looking in. They're going to step off and pick. Now, you notice Gary's hand went to his hip. The ball's supposed to go to your ear on that step off pick. Okay. Quick feet to first base. They switch their feet. Don't jump too high in the air. It's just quickly switch your feet. Now becomes quick feet. Switch the feet pick to first base. So those are our picks to second base and to first base. We'd be so far ahead of the game as far as holding base runners. I uh, hope everybody's doing well and we will talk again soon. Yeah.